What's going on, yo, Tobe, it's your boy, Cam, ATL, shout out to the DFS squad, shout out to everybody watching this video right now, drop a like down below, because I already know you're gonna love it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, make sure you like down below, drop that like, hit that little thumbs up down there, hit subscribe next to it, to the right, and then scroll down, comment anything down in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway that I do every single week on this channel because I love you, all right? Now, first thing I want to mention is MLB has been crazy the last few weeks. Things that should not have been happening have been happening. It's one of those off-the-wall things. Like in the beginning of MLB season, it was really hard to really, you know, get things right in the beginning of the year too because things were just crazy. Guys who finished off the year last year, had a great year last year, were starting off super, super slow, and it was just some weird shit, right? Right now, it's kind of off the wall, too. Like, you got teams like Miami uh, being the highest scoring team of the day. You know what I'm saying? And then these other great stack games are putting up super low uh, runs against horrible pitchers in great matchups. That's what we're dealing with right now. But at the same time, I just wanted to let make sure you guys are aware. Look, whatever process that has gotten you to where you are, okay, as long as it's a winning process, in, in my case... For the forever that I've been playing DFS, I've been doing one process and I've been doing it consistently since I've started having success with it. And I've been going hard with it since then. I've gone on 10 plus day streaks um, in MLB, which is very, very, very hard to do with how crazy MLB fluctuates. And so regardless of how negative you might be, let's say you have some really, really bad days, you know, just keep that process going that you do. Don't overthink it. Have fun with it and just do what you got to do. Things will even out and your process will start hitting once again. All right. So don't overdo it. Don't get too scared. Don't get worried about it. This is DFS. It happens. Okay. Especially with baseball. There's a lot of variance in baseball. So sometimes things can be a little crazy. But things will balance out and everything will be all right. So don't sweat it, all right? Now, let's go ahead and get straight into this high five. GreenlightDFS.com. Join the squad and let's get right into it. Now, starting off, first pitcher. I'm going to go with Jacob DeGrom. He's at home in New York. He's going against a very righty-heavy St. Louis offense. Now, his strikeout rate versus righties is crazy high, all right? I love this matchup for DeGrom here. Like I said, at home, facing a very righty-heavy St. Louis offense. Um, I think he can do a great, great job. All right, so I love him as the top pitcher on the slate at 10-4. Um, honestly, anybody else that I would spend up on? Probably not. Maybe David Price. I'm not too interested in Boyd. There's some Kansas City righties who hit lefties well. Boyd has been playing very well, though, so in GPP I can see it, pivoting off of DeGrom to Boyd. Um, I'm not going to be going with any Kershaw. So yeah, I mean, Price and DeGrom are my two upper spend guys that I've been looking at. All right. Next up. Now, some of you might hate me. Some of you might be like, oh, okay. I like that. You know, you know what I'm saying? But hear me out. All right. Now, the next picture, we have a game in course. All right. So the next picture we're going with is Homer Bailey. All right. He's at home in Kansas City. He's going against a Detroit offense that is not good. Regardless of how well they just did against Duffy, all of that stuff. Like, look, I don't like to just overthink it. You know what I'm saying? Like, still, I mean, hey, and maybe it's my downfall. I've, I still attempt to pick on Miami because I know Miami is not the team that is performing at the level they're performing at right now. So they're going to come back down to reality, okay? Detroit is not a good offense. Regardless of how well they play recently or whatever, they still are an offense that strikes out a ton and they do not hit the ball well. Homer Bailey is not a great pitcher. He's just okay. He's better than me. Okay, I'll put it to you like that. He's better than me, but here's the deal. We don't need much at 5-2. We just need him not to get blown up and to get us like 10 plus. Okay, I can see 15 out of Homer Bailey here in this matchup against Detroit. Um, I love the matchup for him. He's super, super cheap at 5-2. Allows you to get an ace paired with him and then get some real elite bats in that order too. Some San Diego guys against uh, Gray and some uh, Colorado guys versus Lore. All right? And uh, yeah, that's uh, really the pitching that I'm going with. I mean, any other... I mean, you could, you could go DeGrom and Price if you wanted to pair those two up if you find some value later on throughout the day. 
But right now where I'm sitting is I like DeGrom and Bailey. All right. Um, if Gray was in San Diego, I'd be all over John Gray, but him at home in Colorado, I'm not too interested in that. All right. J.A. Happ is interesting at the White Sox, but something tells me that's a little bit scary for me. Um, the K rate against White Sox, we all, all know that's great. Um, only issue is at home in Chicago. They have some good players on that White Sox team that can hit some lefties pretty well. Um, so it bothers me a little bit, but I do love that I love the New York Yankees offense against Nova here. I love a lot of these Yankees guys, so I think Hap can get the run uh, support, and I think he can get the W. So if you want to pair DeGrom with Hap, if you don't want to go down to Bailey, if that's a little scary for you, then I, I totally understand. All right? Next up, Sir DD is back. All right? He made his debut last weekend <coughs> against Cleveland. And now he's going against Nova. Lefty-righty matchup. Absolutely love me some D.D. Gregorius. All right? Love him. Okay? Throughout his career, he's hit over a 250 ISO and a 368 Woba versus right-handed pitching. I know he just came back. He might be a little rusty. But on the 11th against the Mets, he got two hits and five at-bats with a double. Um, so he's looking all right. Okay? I mean, on his second game back, his second game back, he hit a home run against Cleveland. All right, so don't worry too much about him being a little rusty. That price at 4-3, you're getting a very, very, very good batter versus right-handed pitching in a very elite offense matchup as well. That is great at 4-3. I love him at shortstop. D.D. Gregorius, got to do it, all right? Next up, I'm going to go with Andrew Benintendi, and then I'm going to get to a guy that I'm praying is going to be low-owned, and I am throwing him in all of my GPPs, maybe even cash. We'll see, all right? Andrew Benintendi at home in Boston going against Samson. Samson is not a good pitcher, okay? He is not a good pitcher versus righties or lefties. Boston is another good offense. There are a lot of high projected total offenses on this slate. That is why we have Homer Bailey as our SP2 because there is a ton of bats. Now on slates where there aren't any offenses that we're super in love with and there's not a game in cores and stuff like that, then yeah, you can, you know what I'm saying, pay up for both of your pitching spots, you know? But in this situation, there's so much good hitting that you do not want to miss out on some of these crazy, like, I feel like it's going to be a very high-scoring night, all right? Andrew Benintendi, lefty-righty matchup, 4-5, get you exposure to a high-total offense in an amazing matchup versus a horrible pitcher. Last but not least, I mentioned it before, I absolutely love this dude, and I'm hoping he slept on. I know it's in course, so people might end up on him, but Hunter Renfro, the dude's got crazy power. We know that. He crushes righties. He's going against John Gray, who he just happens to be John Gray's daddy, okay? It's not an absolute huge sample size, but in six plate appearances versus John Gray, he has four hits, one of them a double, and three of them home runs. This guy sees John Gray very, very well, now it's a small sample size, but throughout his career, he mashes. We know the type of power he has. He's got double dong potential, especially in Colorado. He's facing a pitcher that he obviously sees great, seeing that he has four hits out of the six at-bats, one a double, and three home runs. That is crazy numbers. That BVP is ridiculous. And in that type of situation, I'm like, okay, this obvious he sees something with John Gray where, I mean, maybe it's the release point for John Gray where he catches the ball a little earlier and maybe just likes, he just loves hitting against Gray. He's got a ton of power versus him. I see a huge game out of Renfro and I'm praying. I know the squad's going to have him. I know you guys are going to play him. I'm praying we get him at a decent ownership. All right, we'll have to see how everybody else goes. And if everybody else is promoting him too, then his ownership's going to spike up. But it is what it is. All right, in GPPs for sure, his price possibly could keep him out of cash game range, depending on other bets that we could get. But in GPP for sure, he will be in my GPP. Absolutely love his high upside. Hunter Renfro, do not forget three home runs and four hits. Okay, four hits, one double. Three home runs. That's ridiculous. And six plate appearances. All right? So that's it, guys. Jacob DeGrom, Homer Bailey to save us some money. If you don't want to do that, I'm fine with J.A. Happ. 
All right, Didi Gregorius is back. Mash is right. He's Andrew Benintendi, just a very solid bat. Very, very consistent player. 4-5 lefty-righty against a bad pitcher. And then Hunter Renfro, hopefully our sleeper. But we'll see what happens. All right? That's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. As always, greenlightdfs.com if you want to join the squad, get the lines with the squad. Um, if you see this in time before PGA, we have PGA posted up on greenlightdfs.com. Doubt most of you will see that because I'm posting this at midnight uh, the day before PGA starts. So good luck, everybody. I hope you kill it. Follow me on Twitter, at Cam underscore ATL. And let's get it, man. Let's get over this fucking horrible MLB last few weeks, man. The games have been horrible, but trust me, things will even out. Keep doing your research. Stay on what you're doing. Don't sweat it. All right?